The sine graph is easiest to draw if we can remember the general shape. So it is what I call a roller coaster. And that is a way to help remember the shape that it's supposed to look like. The first time you draw a sine graph, you're probably going to use the table function on your calculator. And I'm going to remind you of what that looks like now. You need to change the mode on your calculator. So you're going to click on mode and you're going to select the table. Then it gives you f of x equals and there's your opportunity to write in the graph that you're going to do. You're going to put in the formula for the graph for which you want a table. Okay, so we're going to say sine and then we want x. Remember that little x comes from the alpha button, it's down there, it's the red one. So we're going to go sine x equals. Okay, now what's really different about this is that we're dealing with degrees. So we're going to go from negative 360 to positive 360. So I'm going to say I'm going to start at negative 360 and I'm going to end at positive 360. The other difference is I'm not going up in ones. I'm going to go up in 90 degrees for the sine graph because that will give me the critical points to plot the curve. So I'm going up in 90s. And there we have it. So on negative 360 it's 0, negative 270 it's 1, and it'll take me all the way through to the other side of the graph. Transferring the numbers from your calculator onto a table, you'll notice that the x values are quite big and range from quite low to very big, and then the y's only go 0 and 1 and negative 1. And that feels like it's quite difficult to accommodate on a graph, but it's not. And when you get the hang of it, you won't have to do this anymore. You can just go straight to drawing the shape. Okay, so I'm going to go up in 90s on my x-axis. And while this feels quite new now, you're going to just automatically do it in future. So you won't have to think too hard and you won't have to copy from the calculator because you'll realize that these all look the same. This is then 1 because that's as high as the y values go and this one is negative 1 because that's as low as the y values go. Right, drawing in your graph is going to be a matter of plotting the points and then connecting the dots in the shape of a curve. So, 0 and 0 is a point, 90 on the x and 1 on the y is a point, then on 180 it goes back to 0, and on 270 it's negative 1, and on 360 it's 0 again. I've just plotted the positive side first. Plotting the negative side, negative 360 is on 0, negative 270 is on 1, negative 180 again on 0, an important thing to note is when you join these dots together, you are making a roller coaster curve. You are so this one is the graph of y equals sine x.